Today on the couch, we're celebrating 15 years of me. Hello everyone, and today, this happened. Okay, Gorman, open your present. Oh, Seth, you didn't have to get me anything. You're really gonna like it. Oh. Uh, sorry about that, Gorman. That was weird. Here's a canteen instead. Oh, thanks, Seth. Oh, that was really terrifying. Welcome to my couch birthday extravaganza. And I'm going to be showing you guys some of the gifts that I got this year. And I also should mention that this is not only the celebration of me, but also of my brother Gorman. It was always kind of hard in our family where we had to celebrate two birthdays at the same time. It took a little bit of the glamour away from me, which I never liked, but that's okay. I mean, I, I love my brother, and he got me a good gift, and I think, I think I got him a good gift, as you just saw in that clip. But anyways, I'm just going to be showing you all, all the different gifts I got. They're actually very interesting, which is why I decided to go ahead and show them. So, first up, we got this gift from my sister, Corey. It is the Judge Apatow, Ap Apatow, sick in the head. And you know how sometimes on this show I'll say, like, celebrities are all evil and, you know... Well, this, this book is just basically a bunch of interviews with celebrities, and I've pretty much figured out that that, that original idea I had was entirely correct. These, these people are really horrible. Just sick in the head. But anyways, I also got some other gifts here. This was given to me by my brother Gorman. Gorman felt a little bad last Christmas for, um, you know, the gift of Pokemon Go, especially since that, that game is actually free, so it didn't cost him anything. And also, it wasn't even a good version of Pokemon Go. It was possessed by Satan. But anyways, he got me this Beatles CD as sort of a recompensation, and he also got me the spinner. That's right, I don't only have a fidget cube now, but I also have the spinner. I actually like this thing, even though it's basically just something you do this with. I mean, I guess I could probably make this with a wrench and just a piece of metal. But, you know, it, it's a lot cooler to have something like this and say that you own it. And I do have to admit that this thing actually corrects a lot of the mistakes I had with, like, the fidget cube. It's not very expensive. It's easy to use. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate how the fidget cube is just basically built for fidgeters. I really admire the effort that went into that. But I do have to admit the fidget spinner has a sort of, like, there's a sort of allure to it. I, what I really like to do with it is, like, put it on my thumb and just try to spin it on top of it. It's getting a little, I'll say this, the gears are getting a little bit bad, but all in all, I'd give this thing an, an A. Just, because it wasn't very expensive, so I don't mind too much that it's beginning to wear out a little bit. My fidget cube has already lost the switch on the top. But, anyways, I'll show you all also the gift I got from my brother Harold. Uh, Harold got me this stick of butter, that was great, an egg, and a gallon of milk. Um... He's a very unusual brother, to be honest. Half-brother. I, I, it's It was from another marriage. It's a long story, but... Anyways, I also got this gift from Caroline. Look at Vampire teeth. Nice and blue. Yeah, yeah. Hello! I am the Count. I love you all. And I am a half-smurf or something. I love you. Okay. Kind of gross. But I also got this from her too, a bouncy ball. See, whoa. Okay, there it goes. Okay. And, ah, my grandmother got me this. A giant box of popcorn. And, ah, my dad got me a whole full thing of Coke, Diet Coke. And, ah, mom got me stuff to make me smell good. And mom and dad went especially out after doing that. They also got me this wonderful shirt. 
boiled for safety. If you guys don't know what that quote means, most people do not. It was from an episode of Red and Link. It was kind of random. I didn't even recognize the quote from them when, when I got the shirt. But I, I really love this shirt. It reminds me of that goofy, good mythical morning show. The one that's probably my favorite YouTube channel. But anyways, I, I was very grateful to have it. I, I have a lot of stories to tell about my experience watching Red and Link. I have actually been watching Good Mythical Morning since the first episode when it only had like 100,000 subscribers. So I am a huge fan by this point. You know, just that I've managed to be with it all the time. But I also got these pants. Uh, these pants were also from my dad. And I think, I think they're nice little Hawaiian pants. So I really was very happy. Oh, the hat, the hat's just mine. I, I didn't get it for my birthday or anything. I just thought it looked cool if I wore it. But anyways, that is all. And I just want to say that, of course, the best present is all of you guys just tuning in all the time, just liking and sharing and subscribing and helping me out. I really appreciate that. That is all the birthday gift I really need from you. Just go ahead, just like or comment or do whatever. Just, just watch it. I don't care. But... Thanks for being a part of this amazing experience. And as always, think big, think differently.